Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set your design up to be cut out on the laser cutter. So, first of all, I'm going to clear the area. And I want to make a copy of my chosen design. I do that so that if I make any mistakes with the actual design, I've still got the original there to work from, meaning I don't have to start again. So I select the actual image and then I go to fill and no fill. The laser cutter only needs the lines to cut out your shape. It doesn't need any color. So I'm basically going to strip away all the parts so we can identify which parts we need to cut out separately. I've got the mouth here. Now, say for example, I wanted to include these highlighted areas here. I would have to make a copy of the whole shape and then delete the lines that I do not want. Take your time when you're deleting as you can delete the wrong parts, just like I did there, edit, undo. There we go, right. Now I can position the parts around the page ready to be cut out. Now, you will have to select which part you're gonna cut out on the laser cutter, and obviously which parts you're gonna cut out by hand. Um, for this part here, I will just need the outline. There we go. So say for example, I decided to cut out this section here on the laser. I could then operate knowing I've got to cut all these sections out by hand using the scroll saw and other tools. The next thing I need to do is to size the actual clock that I'm going to make. So if I go to shapes, the clock mechanism that you've been given is 55 millimeters by 55 millimeters. Now you can check the size down here in the bottom left corner where it says rel. I usually use the cursor keys just because it's easier to get the measurement. Now that's not working because the grid locks in grid spacing is 10. So I can change it back to five. better. Now I just use the cursor keys and I get a square 55 millimeters by 55 millimeters. Okay. So now I can actually check whether that fits onto the design and it does. If it didn't for whatever reason, I would simply just move that away and select the, all the parts of the clock and then you could enlarge them using the corner point and the shift key and resize it to an appropriate size. But I'm happy with that size at the moment, so that fits on there. Okay, now we are ready to send our design to print. So we go to file, print setup, and you wanna put that as an A4. And I'm working on a landscape page, so I'll keep it landscape. Okay, and yes. So now I just have to position all these parts back onto the A4 page. Now you want to try and ensure all the parts of your clock actually fit on an A4 page. That'll just mean the clock's not gonna be excessively big and uh, there's no waste. Okay. Now I just file and print.